There is no denying the fact that Ryzen 3D CPUs are perfect for high-end gaming and from time to time AMD has shown that whether you consider the last-gen Ryzen 5800X 3D or the latest 7800X 3D, you will get the most out of every game as a lot of games love more L3 cache. Unlike the last generation, AMD revealed three different 3D CPUs in the Ryzen 7000 lineup that gave users options if they wanted to stick with the more popular 7800X 3D or to the more expensive chips like the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D. But as you might know, the 7950X 3D despite being more powerful than the 7800X 3D did not appeal to enthusiast gamers due to reasons like higher price and almost no leverage over the 7800X 3D. The 7900X 3D got even poor attention despite featuring more cores and threads than the 7800X 3D because the chip only has 6 cores per CCD and only one CCD had the extra L3 cache. This made its performance worse than the 7800X 3D and having its price at $150 more than the latter, it made no sense to go with the 7900X 3D. Fortunately, there was no problem in the Zen 3 lineup as 5800X 3D was the only CPU that existed but according to the recent leak by Chili Dog, AMD might be working on a new Zen 3 based Ryzen 50 6600X 3D CPU. As you can see from the screenshot, this leak table reveals the specs of 5600X 3D featuring the standard 6 cores and 12 threads combination and the same amount of L3 cache as the 5800X 3D. The core frequencies downgraded significantly compared to the 5600X where both the base and boost clocks are decreased by about 200 to 400 MHz. Currently there is no info about its possible pricing but considering that the 5800X 3D is right now available for $290, the 5600X 600X 3D shouldn't launch for more than $200, but even at that price this CPU won't be the best gaming CPU. When we try to analyze its performance theoretically, it should be priced even below $200, which I don't know if AMD will do but when we consider the following problems, you will understand why it is necessary to launch it for a sub $200 price. But before that, consider subscribing to the channel if you would love to stay updated with such interesting news and leaks on a regular basis. I spend several hours every day just to collect the best stories out there and your subscription will help the channel immensely. Coming back to the video, the number one problem with 5600X 3D is that if AMD prices it around $220 or $230, this is going to compete directly with the Ryzen 7600 which is pretty much equivalent to 7600X in gaming performance with no noticeable difference whatsoever. And from various benchmarks, we have seen that the Ryzen 5800X 3D has a hard time outperforming the 7600X and technically both are equivalent. And if you try to get a theoretical comparison between the 5800X 3D and the 5600X 3D, the best example would be the performance difference between 7900X 3D and the 7800X 3D. As the 7900X 3D comes with only 6 cores on the 3D V cache equipped CCD, it underperforms in some games due to fewer cores. This is most likely to happen with the 5600X 3D which will have a single CCD with only 6 cores enabled compared to 8 on the 5800X 3D. That means the 5600X 3D is more most likely to end up slower than the 7600 and the 7600X and that too in the same price range. However, if AMD decides to launch it at $200 or lower, this could be a decent CPU for mid-range gaming builds. But it still can't solve the second problem which is upgradability. The 5600X 3D will only fit on an AM4 motherboard which won't see any further upgrades, compared to AM5 which will support the next gen Phoenix and Z5 based Strix Point CPUs. This means anyone who builds a brand new PC with the 5600X 3D has to compromise with the upgradability. However, this would not be the case if users who already own a first or second gen Ryzen CPU. So for instance, if a user is running a Ryzen 5 1600 or 26 on an AM4 motherboard, the 5600X 3D would be one of the best upgrades without breaking the bank and I don't see any problem here. So everything boils down to pricing. AMD must price it at $200 max or better if lower. Currently the 5600X can be found for around $150. So I believe that it shouldn't be that difficult for AMD to price it at $200. Otherwise the 5600X 3D would be an unsuitable upgrade for a price higher than that. And talking about a suitable upgrade, we all know that neither AMD nor Nvidia are currently having any decent GPU in the sub $300 range. 
Despite all of that, Nvidia wants to hasten the launch of the RTX 4060. According to Mega Size GPU, the 4060 non-TI will be on shelf a little bit earlier than originally planned. If you remember, Nvidia planned to launch the 4060 and 4060 Ti 16GB cards in July, but Nvidia is now deciding to launch the non-TI edition before the end of June, as if gamers are waiting for this card eagerly. I believe that this card is going to be another flop just like the 4060 Ti, unless it is really capable to perform similar to the 3060. Ti, which unfortunately isn't likely to happen anyways. The card is a serious downgrade compared to the 3060 and features not only fewer CUDA cores but also horrible memory configuration. I wish someone can bring back the memory configurations we had on the Turing cards where almost every card had 8GB memory on a 256-bit bus. Crazy enough, someone just crossed even those limits by adding more VRAM to the 2080 Ti. As we know, the 2080 Ti features 11GB memory on a 352-bit bus but someone modded this card by replacing the 1GB GB memory ICs by 2 GB ICs. On top of that, he also added the same number of ICs on the back of the card, resulting in a configuration of a whopping 44 GB GDDR6 memory. Now, even though the card managed to work, it still needs a custom BIOS to work in games and applications. 44 GB is insanely high VRAM for any gaming GPU, and I wish that it was easier to do the same with the Ada family. Currently, Nvidia just cares about the booming AI trend and doesn't care for gamers, and that's why it gave embarrassing statements recently which I have talked about in this video right here. Watch that video and let me know your thoughts about Ryzen 5600X 3D in the comments below. Lastly, hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for regular stories like these. Also, make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any latest upload to the channel and I will see you in the next one.